was in the, his uncanny ability to unlock the talent of everybody that he worked with. He thought deeply about our workplace and its surroundings, and he believed that they should inspire talented people to do their best work. So over a decade ago, he began to work on a new campus for Apple. His vision for Apple Park was to create an incredible workplace of the future where engineers and designers could all be together collaborating on the next generations of Apple product to change the world. Steve's vision and passion live on here at Apple Park and everywhere in Apple. Today and always, we honor him. Thank you. We're here today to talk about some incredible products. But before we get to that, I'd like to take a moment to talk about what's happening in Florida and Texas, the southeastern United States, and across the Caribbean. Our hearts go out to all of the people whose lives have been disrupted by Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Harvey. You're We're here thoughts. today to talk about we send some you our income. strength. You are in our prayers. Apple is working closely with relief and recovery efforts through Hand in Hand and the American Red Cross. And in addition to Apple's direct contributions, we're making it really simple for the entire Apple community to donate via iTunes and the App Store. The Hand in Hand benefit for hurricane relief airs tonight on all of the major broadcast networks. And I, I encourage you to watch it. And however you choose to give, I hope that you open your heart to this important effort. Thank you. <clears throat> now, let me tell you a little bit about our new home. We'll start moving in Apple Park later this year. Hello, everyone. For such a large move, it's really more of a process. Uh, I and the first big step is the me. opening today of the Steve, jo yes. Steve Jobs Theater. It's All the right. most state-of-the-art, purpose-built theater ever built for events just like this one. Apple Park has been built to reflect Apple's values for both technology and the environment. It connects, connects extraordinarily advanced buildings with a rolling parkland to form an open and inspiring environment for our teams to create and collaborate. The park itself was converted from a sea of asphalt into a 175-acre green space with over 9,000 trees. Apple Park is designed to be seamless with nature. It's open, transparent. It brings the outside in and connects everyone to the beautiful California landscape. OK, everyone, so this is it's the Apple live stream. It's powered by 100% renewable energy. Uh, let me change. And in fact, we have one of the world's largest on-site solar installations right here. And just like everything we make, Apple Park is, has been designed with extraordinary attention to detail, incredible precision, and really beautiful materials. We've got a great visitor center, which will be open later this year, where we will welcome everyone. And inside the visitor center, you'll find an incredible augmented reality experience where you can learn more about Apple Park, its design, 
and its innovations. Apple Retail Store. You'll also find a fantastic new Apple Retail Store. As you know, Apple Retail has always been about more than selling. It's about learning, inspiring, and connecting with people. Now, our stores are also the best place to go discover, explore, and experience our new products. So before we get to some incredible products, we'd like to give you an update on retail. And to do that, I'd like to invite Angela up. Angela? Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here. And I love the fact that the same team that designs Apple Park also designs our largest retail stores around the world. But it's funny, because we actually don't call them stores anymore. We call them town squares, because they're gathering places for 500 million people who visit us every year. Places where everyone's welcome and where all of Apple comes together. But what really brings it all to life, as Tim said, are our incredible teams. We've always said that our people are our soul. And they're Apple's greatest differentiator because they bring personal connection to communities all over the world. They humanize technology. But along with our amazing mm. teams, our commitment to okay, design also sets us apart. Let's, uh, to let's make things the... simple, beautiful. And that's why we think of Apple retail as Apple's largest products. And like all of our products, we've designed new features to take the customer experience even further. Hmm, okay. In our so largest this is cities the where retail. we can, we create a plaza. Interesting. A space open to other everyone. retailers are closing the shop. Relax, meet up with friends, Tapi Apple or just listen to a local artist making, on the weekends. Pushing the Inside, retail experience. We've designed a forum, Amazing. a place for customers to come and create, collaborate, or just connect again with one another. For local entrepreneurs and app developers, we have a quieter space in the larger stores called a boardroom where they can learn more from our teams or again share with each other. Mm. And the Genius Grove, a redesigned, more relaxed service experience now in the heart of our largest stores. And lastly, the avenues. Kind of like shop windows around a town square. They're carefully curated and they change seasonally to always feature our newest products and services. And this summer, to turn on these new features, we've launched Today at Apple, our in-store experience designed to inspire customers to go even further with their passions. We started with things that are core to Apple's DNA, things people most use their devices for, and they trust us to teach them, like photography, music, gaming, and app development. We've created new programs like Photo Walks, where customers can perfect their photography skills with features like portrait mode and memories. And we do all of this in a really fun social way by taking them out to the neighborhood to explore with each other. Or Swift Playgrounds, where the next generation app developers can begin to learn the basics of coding. Interesting. And one of my personal favorites, Teachers Tuesdays, where our teams help local educators stay updated on the newest technologies and apps. Hello, second watcher. In some of our larger stores, sessions are led by local artists, Trend. like this music lab called The Art of Beat Making with Rizzo. Semua Rizza retailer lagi pada Brooklyn. tutup. Apple malah These gedein effortnya di retail. Team, and a new position we call a creative pro. So the creative pro is now to liberal arts as the genius has ah. always been to technology. And I would love hmm. to show a quick video to show you how Today at Apple is coming to life. Welcome to Today at Apple. Today at Apple, we're going to be learning about coding. Today at Apple, we're going to be talking with a very talented illustrator. Today at Apple, we're learning about photography. You have tons of good ideas in your head, so it's like, oh, I like that. I'm going to explore that some more. 
When you do something for the first time, you have to be completely fearless. Kapan ya Indo ada live? Kapan Indo ada real Apple Store ya? Keren banget. We just started. We just started. But the feedback has been fantastic. Customers are telling us they love the role that Apple Retail is playing in their community. So what's next? Well, we're going to continue to open Apple Town Squares in the top cities around the world. We're going to invest in online, and we're also going to continue to reinvest in our 400 classic locations, including Apple Fifth Avenue in New York City, where we're opening up the plaza to allow natural sunlight to come in into a greatly expanded space below. And you can see the glass cube will return when we open late next year. Yay! And in Paris, we're restoring an entire historic building on the iconic Champs-Élysées. We're turning a five-story atrium into our largest forum. Halo, halo, halo semua yang baru gabung. Yuk nonton Apple bareng yuk. Kalau mau chat, silakan langsung chat ya. Ada di di bawah. Ha ha ha. Ini my wife lagi nonton gak ya? My wife lagi nggak di sini. Hai babe, kalau lagi nonton. We can't think of Ini blah, a better blah, blah, place blah, today at Apple Programs than a building originally created iPhone. for the city to access knowledge and unlock their potential. Ah, kepencet. And I'm Hi. thrilled to personally announce Hi, the Victor. opening of the newest flagship store apa? in the heart OBS. of the West. Apple Michigan Avenue in Chicago Victor, on October 10th. Victor, this is from the group Hots, or from where? Our team has designed a spectacular pavilion that <coughs> seamlessly <coughs> connects the plaza to the promenade as a part of the city's plan to transform the Chicago riverfront. So that's a brief highlight of just a couple of things we've been working on. And as Tim said, Apple's retail purpose has always been to enrich lives. So a huge thank you to the 65,000 Apple retail employees around the world whose passion, energy, and commitment in serving all hello, of us every hello, day. Hello, hello, Indo YouTube uh, viewers. Brilliant. Thank you. Tenang. Ini masih blah, blah, blah. Masih ngomongin retail shop. I am really excited. I'm really excited about all the incredible things going on in retail. But I am especially proud of our unbelievable retail team. It's the best place to go experience our new products. And so let's get going on telling you about what we're going to launch today, beginning with Apple Watch. Yay, Apple Watch. Tapi biasa aja sih, Apple Watch. I really Apple use it. I have to Apple Watch too. Motivated. Let's see what Connected this so Apple Watch is going to have. And I'm happy to tell you that more people are doing that than ever before. Since the launch of the Series 2, the Apple Watch has experienced phenomenal growth. In fact, last quarter, Apple Watch grew over 50% compared to the previous year. This is incredible. Yay. Now, last year, we told you that the Apple Watch had already become the number two watch in the world. Hmm. Today, I'm thrilled to number tell you the watch. Apple Watch is now By what? the number one watch in the world. What? Wait, number one in what? Sales? But, Brand? What? Cannot be la. But what's most rewarding to us is how much our users love it. Our, we have an industry-leading customer satisfaction rate of 97%. This is blow away. Now, people write to us all the time and tell us how the Apple Watch is helping them lead a healthier life. These stories 
are unbelievable and we prepared a video a so that you could hear directly from them what they're telling us. I'd love to play it for you. Apple Watch Did gue Apple? Sarian, Sarian aja gue kadang cuma 50% Gue cuma pakai Apple Watch buat notification sih I know you may never read this, but I just wanted to put it out there I live in Massachusetts I'm a country boy from small town Mississippi I'm a two-time Olympian It was filmed by Ladino I'm the father of a nine-year-old. I am a 99-year-old world traveler. Every day for the last two and a half years, I have worn this tiny computer on my wrist. This is the first time I've worn a watch since my bar mitzvah. I was a scrawny, sports-hating kid who never really liked being active. I was coming back from a knee surgery. While I was never fat, I was the proud owner of a dad bod. I fell into a deep depression and weighed 250 pounds. Every day, I to close all the activities. Now I get up at 5 a.m. If it's five minutes to midnight, I'll do push-ups in my bedroom. I'll take the dog out for a really quick walk around the block. I walk around the house and my family thinks I'm a little crazy. I dutifully oblige when the Apple Watch reminds me to stand up every hour. I ran my first Spartan race in December and ran a full marathon in February. Ah, Today, Dear Mr. Cook, our daughter was recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. My car rolled over three times and my phone landed far out of my reach. Once I collected my thoughts, I remembered my Apple Watch had the SOS feature. After being rushed to the emergency room, I was diagnosed with a condition that was causing my liver, kidneys, and heart to start shutting down. The integration of her glucose monitor with the Apple Watch lets us make sure her blood sugars don't go to dangerously low levels. For six minutes, I hung there in my car, talking to a dispatcher until help arrived. Had I not been wearing my Apple Watch, I never would have sought medical attention, which in turn saved my life. Sincerely, Paul. Oke okay, kak, ini marketingnya agak lebay sih, tapi oke lah. Good advertising agency. Avi, sincerely, Stuart. All the best, Kara. Sincerely, Avi. Jill. Casey. Terima kasih, Dimitri. Terima kasih, Giovanni. Yeah, Giovanni. Terima kasih, 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 Giovanni. Those stories are so moving, and there's really no words to describe what it feels like to receive these notes. I'd like to thank everybody in the video for sharing their personal experience with all of us. Now, we have some great news about the future of Apple Watch, and to share it with you, I'd like to invite Jeff up. Jeff? Thanks, Tim. Those stories are really great, and it's, it's really inspiring to us that so many people are getting healthier with Apple Watch. And with mm. WatchOS 4, they're going to be able to do even more. We're adding smart activity coaching, which is going to help more people close more rings more often. A what? completely redesigned workout app with high-intensity interval training. Yes, New features please. features for swimmers like auto sets and gym mm. kit, an industry first. It's really simple. You just tap your watch on a machine, get going, and all your metrics are in sync. Ya, tergantung one, one of the things si that di gym enables these ya. fitness features is the Apple heart rate sensor. And it's been at the core of Apple Watch since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And today, it's the most used heart rate monitor in the world. And we want to use it to help even more people. So we're doing three things. First, We're making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. Hmm. Now, you'll see your heart rate right on the watch face so you can keep an eye on it with just a raise of the wrist. Okay. And when you launch the heart rate app, you'll see new measurements like resting heart rate. Hmm. Apple Watch calculates this daily by correlating background heart rate readings with accelerometer data and recovery Ooh. heart rate, which tells you how quickly your heart rate drops after workout. A hmm. lower resting heart rate and a quicker recovery rate can be signs of improved fitness. 
And now you can keep a better picture of your heart rate. You'll have a better picture throughout the day. The second thing we're doing is inspired by many of the letters we receive from customers who notice an unusually high heart rate when they wouldn't expect one. So hmm. Apple Watch has been helpful for them, but we realize most people won't notice. So we're adding a feature. And now Apple Watch will notify you when it detects an elevated heart rate you, and you don't appear to be active. Hmm. Okay. Mungkin buat sakit jantung kali ya. And the third thing we're doing is focused on heart rhythm. A regular heart rhythm has a familiar pattern, but when your heart beats irregularly, it's called an arrhythmia. It doesn't mean it's beating too fast or too slow. It just means it's beating out of its normal rhythm. And that can cause problems. The most common form of serious arrhythmia is called atrial fibrillation, or AFib. And it affects tens of millions of people and is a leading cause of stroke. But the okay. challenge is many people with AFib don't feel symptoms, so it often goes undiagnosed. Hmm. We've been looking at this for a couple of years, and we think Apple Watch can help. Okay, harus beli saham Apple. Apple Watch has been effective. Ayo siapa yang punya saham Apple? So we're Apple. expanding that work, and today we're announcing the Apple Heart Study. It will use data from Apple Watch, uh -uh. and it will analyze arrhythmias, including AFib, and notify users. This study is being conducted in partnership with Stanford Medicine, and we're working closely with the FDA, and they've been great to work with. Yeah, see, si, benar si. So later this year, ini akurasi heart rate-nya ini agak-agak bisa miss. On the App Store. Those are the updates focused on fitness and health, and they join the other great features of watchOS 4. We have a completely redesigned oh, music experience. WatchOS 4, uh, buat orang Chinese, sial tuh. Fun new characters oh. from Toy Story, and more. So that's watchOS 4. It will be available to all Apple Watch customers on September 19. Okay, cool. So, September 19, watch gua dapat baru. Update. And now I'd like to introduce the new Apple Watch. The next generation of Apple Watch. Ooh, here we go. Kayaknya sama nih, sama apa beda ya bentuknya. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, sama. So, same shape. Aha, leaknya bener. Ada red dot. Hah, udah gitu doang ya. Biasa banget. Cuma red dot. Coba lebih gede atau bulat. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3. And it has cellular built in. Yeah, okay. So at least the leaks are correct. Jadi emang bener. Terus, terus, bisa apa? Now you have the freedom to go anywhere with just your Apple Watch. This, this has Beb. been our vision from the very beginning. Itu and jangan kamu live. Tuh, lihat tuh, tuh. Ada yang, ada yang komen. Ini istri gua. Now you go for a run with just your watch and still be connected. You can leave your phone when you go to the beach or just run a quick errand. Ini live, babe. Tuh, lihat really tuh. Ada orang nanya. Tuh. Babe, kamu kelihatan. Itu. And the location for find my friend. Tuh, tuh, tuh kan jadi miss. Take a walk, map, like WeChat, work sama WeChat. Well. Ooh, dia target Chinese And customer. Coming next month, cellular is going to change the way we listen to music because mm. with Apple Watch Series 3. And Apple Music. Awas, babe, kamu ngalangin. Babe, I don't need your music. Babe, awas, awas, babe. I don't need your music. Kamu gak usah, kamu gak usah, gak usah itu Kamu gak usah stream 
Oke, okay. <laughs> okay, kita kita bubar aja. You'll have access to all your favorite music. You can listen to Beach One Live or any Apple Radio music station. Beb, kamu. You can even ask Siri to find you the tuh, tuh, tuh. track. Watchnya jadi Now, bisa kita dengerin lagu langsung. Staying motive, uh, mm -hmm. for staying active has all the music you need to stay motivated. Gue cuma betul bisa ngontrol Spotify. On Apple Watch. Ronald Isak beli Lix. Tuh Ronald. Hai Ronald. With the most Yay. technologies ever in a watch. Inside is a new door. Ron gua lagi digangguin bini gua coba. 70% more more. Felix enggak punya even punya satu pun Mac. Siri is Okay, why is there right thanks to the new processor. White dot. White dot on the screen. There's a white dot on the screen. Oh. It's 64 degrees right now in South <laughs> It's the It's, it's, it's the, really it's convenient to, to not have to look at the screen when you ask it Next, you don't even have an Apple For Bluetooth right? and Wi-Fi connectivity, we developed a custom wireless chip we call you W2 Apple, There's nothing else like Apple. it It delivers up, up to 85% faster Wi-Fi while being 50% more power, power efficient for both faster Bluetooth wi -Fi. and Wi-Fi And we've added a barometric altimeter So I'll now you get either. flights of stairs climbed and elevation gains after a workout. We're also releasing an app okay. for developers that's going to be great for skiing and snowboarding apps. Snowboarding app. Time to go to sleep. Got a snowboarder babe, out there. Awas, babe. Jangan ganggu. Tuh. Diketawain Ronald. Laughing my ass off. Hi, Ruby. Dia bilang, buruan. Our little watch is already packed. And you have to add antennas, radios, power amplifiers, a SIM card. And if you Paris don't do it right, it gets so big, pura, pura, it looks pura, like pura. a house arrest bracelet, and you're not going to want to wear it. So pura, pura, our pura, engineers pura. have been hard pura, at work, pura, pura, pura. Pura, 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 and they've come up with some really creative pura. solutions. For example, pura. rather than add an antenna, the display itself is the multi-frequency antenna for both mm. LTE and UMTS. And of course you have to have a SIM Hi, card, Ruby but even a si Re -Re. Be way too big. Hi. So instead, Re we can create an electronic YouTube SIM, aja dong. and it's a fraction of the size. Get up. So Get up. here's Get up. where we ended up. Even with all these new features, Apple. faster dual core processor, W2, altimeter, all the stuff you've got to put in for cellular, The case for Siri Beli Indong Ruby itu. Iya nih Ruby. Awas. Gua kalau ada duit buat beli. Awas. Gua kalau ada duit buat beli tas bukan buat beli Mac. Bonin duit gua. Di gua. Aduh kamu jangan ngerusak. Gua jangan ngerusak minggir. Gua diliatin nih. Gua masih pakai iPhone 6 nih. iPhone yang paling zaman dulu. And I'd like to do that for you right Awas. now. Time to go to sleep. Beb, ini semua kerekam, Beb. And, uh, see what's going on. Uh, this watch is connected over the AT&T cellular network. This is our new Explorer face. And I'm going to tap on Hah, the, uh, bisa the telepon. app. Aneh and banget. Masa telepon pakai watch team. Pakai watch. Kalau kalau Terus ngomong sama telepon sama jam tangan gitu bego banget. Hi Jeff. Hi Deidre. Hey, I'm calling you from the new Steve Jobs Theater. How are you doing? I'm a little busy oh, with the keynote, but I'm working very hard out Beb, here. Rere, oh like... yeah, sure, sure you are. Rere nggak tahu Beb, kamu telepon Rere aja. You don't even. Kamu nggak even punya telepon apa? This has been a very tough assignment, but you know me. I'm a key player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you, Deidre. Give, give, give. Well, it looks beautiful out there. It is amazing, but I'm just trying not to fall off this board in front of a million people. <laughs> well, so so far so so far so good, Deidre. Hey, uh, I, I should probably cut it off before something goes awry. But uh, be safe out there, and thanks for doing this. My pleasure. I may stay here a few more days. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That sounds great, Deidre. Sorry guys, abis diganggu istri. Oke, okay, ini gua nggak impresi. Masa 
I'm gonna go rogue for Watch bisa telepon agak you know, too much. It, Gua nggak perlu si. Right so out in the middle of a windy lake, and the only microphone on Deidre is the little tiny one on the Apple Watch. It's a foot or two away from her mouth. She's paddling, and the signal's being sent over cellular coming in, and that's just darn close to magic. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Mm. Series 3 comes in a wide variety of cases and bands. We have a beautiful new gold aluminum finish along with silver and space gray. Uh, Nggak perlu. Nggak keren kalau collab sama Beep atau Off-White mungkin baru keren. And they're releasing a new version of their Nike Plus Run Club app with great new features like in-run audio coaching. Nggak perlu coaching. And we have some wonderful colors across all of our bands that you just have to see in person. Uh, bandnya kurang. We have a great partnership with Hermes and the traditional uh, Hermes this year Hermes. with wait, some wait. new watch face Terakhir styles, LV, kan? some beautiful new bands like the one on the left which is inspired by the classic Hermes driving glove. And last year we introduced a white ceramic watch. This year we're adding a ceramic watch in a gorgeous gray finish. Mm, Oke okay deh. Jadi yang ngebedain. <coughs> All of these watches were built with a great deal of care as well as concern for Jadi the yang ng- ngebedain Apple Watch material. 3 and the rest so are just the white dot. Apple Watch Series nice. 3 cellular GPS swim proof 70% faster dual core processor. Yeah. Uh, barometric altimeter, all the features of Watch OS 4, and it still has all day battery life up to 18 hours across a mix of LTE, Bluetooth, and Wi Fi. Hi, Rere! We have two versions of Series 3. There's one with cellular at 399, and a version without cellular that has all the other great features at just 329. Oh, crap! Ha, ha, ha. And we're going to keep Series 1 in the line Rere. at a new starting oh. price of 249. <coughs> Gimana Rek suka gak Apple Watch yang baru? What do you think? Uh, dear people, I don't think Felix have Apple. Series 3 cellular will be available in these percaya. nine countries with these 14 Dia cuma pura-pura itu ikutan doang to be a blogger. Oh, you wanna be blogger so you and I was to have these Apple. carriers and they're each off have a special introductory offer for Series 3. So it's gonna be great. And we we are offering the the series three Singapore, without cellular in these 26 countries at launch. Without cellular. Orders will begin September 15. September 15. And availability will be September 22. Tell him to hurry up That's and get the phone. The Hi Ruby, call back. And now back to Tim. Uh, kayaknya gua nggak mau sih Apple Watch 3 kayaknya a bit overhyped. Bentuknya sama, coba dia yang bunder. Itu baterainya pasti nggak bisa sarian. Iya sih, kalau pakai, kalau pakai. Ada yang LTE habis gitu. Gua yang pakai yang biasa bisa tahan sisa. Seharian ada. Singapore launch kurang seru. Aduh, ini iklannya kok jelek banget ya Kayaknya kurang gimana Sumpah itu Earphone-nya Apple jelek banget
udah semua pindah ke Apple Watch Fitbit gak seru ah This is a big moment for Apple Watch and we think you are going to love it. Nope, Next I don't like up, the ads. It's not cool. Attention to Apple TV. Mm, okay, 4K HDR. Apple TV has changed the way we experience television, simplifying the way that we discover and enjoy movies, TV shows, sports, news, games, apps, and, and so much more. Hmm, fact, only in US. We've just been awarded our second Emmy for Apple TV. Thank you. Wait, wait. Emmy for Apple TV? This Emmy was Apaan in recognition tuh? for how Emang Siri ada? makes it so easy to search, discover, and interact with your TV content. We're really, we're really proud of the efforts we've made to improve the TV experience. Hmm. Now, throughout the Emmy. history of TV, there's been a few key inflection <coughs> points that have changed the way we experience television. Ha, <laughs> Garmin. It, of course, all began with black and white, and it was first transformed with the introduction of color. It took a huge step forward with the advent of HD. Each stage brought with it a more true-to-life experience, a more immersive experience. Now, we're at the next major inflection point. Apa One that tuh? has the most stunning visuals ever. 4K. Are ideal for the large Yay. TV screens that are coming into our living room. Okay, I have to get this will bring 4K TV quality, and 4K everything you watch. Apple TV. TV go That's 4K, wrong. guys, sekarang. Oh, guys, so my vlog are in 4K. To introduce Apple TV 4K. Ya, ketahuan deh. At the, the heart of Apple true. TV 4K <clears throat> are two key technologies <clears throat> that are driving this next evolution of the TV experience. And to tell you all about them, I'd like to invite Eddie to the stage. Kayaknya, Eddie? Enggak sih. Di Indo abis you, Tim. integration really Apple here, TV though. kurang um, gimana? Apple TV 4K is incredible. And it starts with two big advancements in picture quality. Hmm. First is 4K. Let me show you. This is an image yeah, of 4K. we know 4K. We don't need detail. to relearn about 4K. 4K has four times the number of pixels as HD. And it depends on the content. Resolution isn't everything. There's Kalo an even bigger advancement that's more important, and it's called High Dynamic Range, or HDR. While 4K is about the number of pixels, HDR is about better pixels. Let me show you. Here's that same 4K image. And here it is in HDR. Ooh. Look at the color, the details. Apple TV can do this because it supports the industry standard HDR10. Provided as well as Dolby you have the, best the 4K HDR, HDR TV. Now, Apple TV 4K with HDR delivers the highest picture quality ever. And to show you, <sighs> we've installed a state-of-the-art Dolby 4K HDR cinema projector in the theater. So let's dim the lights and let me show you the new Apple TV. Iya, projectornya 4K. <laughs> Now Kap- we remastered ya Apple bikin TV beneran. Customers love these to take full advantage of 4K HDR. <coughs> Mungkin next year. I think I should buy Apple stocks now. Here we are in Dubai. And even at night, you can see incredible details in the buildings and yeah, the cars. The camera the needs to be 4K. The TV needs to be 4K. And a city shot that really so everything shows needs to be 4K. And sharpness yeah, that's possible in the new Apple TV. Yeah, Hi, babe. Sini, sini. Tuh. Hi, babe. Now, we've redone the whole Apple Hi, TV YouTube. UI 4K. I'm Milton. The, the images are brighter and more vibrant. But let's take a look at a 4K HDR clip. Hi, YouTube. This is the new Spider-Man movie coming to iTunes Jadi, later this month. Hi, YouTube. Yo, this high-tech stuff makes it too easy. Told you it was worth it. Okay, go, go, go. Tutan. What's that? <laughs> Spider-Man. We can hit like five more places tonight. You can meet Spider-Man. Uh, ten, ten. Say hello to YouTube. Wow, you're the Avenger. 
Cars! What are you guys doing here? <laughs> Thor and Hulk? Good to finally meet you guys. Why oh, you be more handsome in person? Oh, Iron Man! Hey, what are you doing robbing a bank? You're a billionaire. <laughs> Hai Milton. Ih ketawa. Apa? That was great and that was all playing on the new Apple TV 4K. Now at the heart of the Apple TV we've got the powerful A10X Fusion chip. This is the same chip that's in our iPad Pro. And the Terus new Apple TV is just slightly faster than remarkably faster. For CPU what? performance is more than twice as fast as the current For Apple what? TV and graphics are more than four times faster. For and of course what? it runs the latest <laughs> version of TVOS, the best operating system for the living room. Okay. Now to experience 4K with HDR, you also need great content. And we've been working with the large Hollywood studios to bring all of their 4K and HDR movie titles to iTunes. Apple, so make a real TV integrated picture quality gua baru all beli. on iTunes, all available for the same Beginian price. Beginian mah, aduh. Eh, oke movie same price as HD. And Berapa ya harga harga movie? iTunes, we're gonna automatically upgrade them to 4K HDR at no additional charge. Oh, oke okay, oke okay, oke okay, oke. Okay. Wait wait wait. Harga 4K berapa? Now, in Harga to 4K movie. Like Netflix to bring their 4K HDR titles to Apple TV. And hmm. later this year, Amazon Prime Video with all of their 4K HDR titles and originals as well. Store. Now last <coughs> year, we introduced the Apple TV app, an easy way to watch your favorite movies and TV shows in a single place. It's been available Coba in the US Empire. and today I'm happy to announce that we're bringing it to seven hmm. additional countries, Canada and Australia later oh, this month iTunes. and the rest by the end of the year. Unfortunately, country, kita di Indo really kayaknya enggak gimana gimana banget. That those customers know and love and that's why we're adding all of these local services to Apple TV. Now, later this year, Apple TV will do even more movie. because we're bringing live sports. Satu so movie. Oke, okay, let's say the mommy. Like really 15 dollar, 150 ribu. Your favorite team is playing yeah, on okay. ESPN. It'll automatically Ooh, appear right Baby Driver. first in the up next list. You'll even get notifications when a game's about to start or if there's a close game. Well, satu movie sih harganya seharga kalau kita nonton premier. Not bad. And in addition, we're bringing live news to the TV app. Now, let's take a look at those live games. News. As you can see, we show you the score and the time remaining to help you decide which game to watch. Kecuali Apple TV-nya gua bisa and pakein VPN. Ada yang tahu gak ya? Now, Apple TV bisa go through VPN enggak? Coba nanti gua Google. Live and upcoming game. And as the seasons change, so will the sports tab always showing what's you what's best for you. As sports in the TV app is a real game changer for sports fans. Hmm. And of course, the new TV app is available on your iPhone and iPad as well. Now, if you own an iPad or iPhone, there's no better choice than Apple TV. You can now share your photos on the big screen, including live photo effects, 4K video memories. You can play from the over 40 million songs in Apple Music, including the music that your friends are listening to. And because Apple TV is always home, you get anywhere, anytime access to all of your HomeKit accessories. And of course, you've got access hmm. to choose from the thousands of games and apps on the App Store. And with the Oops. A10X Fusion ship, There's so much more that Apple TV can do. And to see what's possible, we'd love to show hmm. you a new game from that game company. Game. They're known for making artistic and critically acclaimed games. As a matter of fact, their first game called Flower was chosen as the first video kurang game ever. Kurang gitu excited. Soalnya kita di Indo sih ya, jadinya kayaknya kurang. So with that, I would love to welcome their kepat. CEO, okay. Genova yeah. Chen. Thanks, Adi. At that game company, uh, we treat games that as an game art. company. <coughs> Today, 
Many of us play games alone, but we believe games is a medium that can bring people together. And that's exactly what we are going to do with our new game, Sky. Together with me is my colleague, hmm. Mike. And Mike, why don't we take off? Sky is a romantic social adventure game where you romantic. fly above the clouds to explore the wonders of the mysterious world. The game is designed to be adaptable to the most casual players. The control is simple and intuitive. Everything can be done with one finger on the Siri remote. Hmm. Oh, hey, that's uh, Mike's friend Jeff, and he's asking us to follow him. Let's see what he has discovered. How do you know that's Passion Jeff? Passion and generosity <laughs> are key to unveil hidden areas of the world, as well as growing your character. So by lighting all the candles, Jeff and Mike was able to summon the spirit. And he's about to teach Mike the knowledge uh, of how to summon the spirit. This game thing is creature. boring. Come on, let's go get to the iPhone. Um... In Sky, we really take advantage of the powerful new hardware. With Metal 2 and Apple TV's 810X Fusion chip, we are able to run the game smoothly even with these detailed clouds, detailed intelligent clouds. creatures. And up to eight okay players day. from anywhere around the world. And let's see if we can uh, draft off one of these creatures. Ah, kayaknya uh, lebay sih. Ini mainan cewek deh. Kalau di Indo mas sekarang udah pada main moba. Nanggung nih apa udahlah kalau mau sekalian bikin gaming console. Berapa tahun lagi tuh ya gaming console? Aduh, ini buang waktu aja. Udahlah buruan lah. Orangnya aja yang ngedemoin itu nggak excited banget. <laughs> With the light, Mike was able to free all the butterflies, and together they can move on to the next part of the adventure. Uh... With a live orchestral soundtrack and a cinematic experiences, you can expect to be immersed in an ever-expanding world. Mm. So, join hands with your loved ones and play Sky exclusively on Apple TV, iPad, and iPhone this winter. iPad, iPhone this winter. <laughs> yeah, not that excited. We can't wait for you to get your hands on Sky. We're mm. so excited about the new Apple TV 4K. Mm, it's got powerful hardware that delivers stunning 4K HDR video. Live sports along with I'm live not news, excited. TV shows and, and, uh, and movies all in the TV app. And the perfect big screen companion for your iPhone or iPad. The new Apple TV 4K starts at $179. It joins the existing one. You can order it starting on September 15th. And it ships just a week later. Nah, that is the new Apple kurang. TV 4K. Thank you, and I'd like to turn it back to Tim. Ayo, okay, thanks. Next, now let's get onto the iPhone atau Mac Pro. I can't wait for you to experience the beauty and the magic of the cinema right in your living room with the Apple TV 4K. Uh, yeah. Now, next. next up. Apple iPhone. iPhone. Yay! Yay! Apple has always believed that technology infused with humanity could improve people's lives and change the world. Change the world. No other device in our lifetimes have Change your bank account, yes. <laughs> I think Nothing banyak orang di India sama Indo masih nggak bisa afford so iPhone. iPhone. Or put so much power into so many people's hands than iPhone. It's truly amazing how much iPhone impacts the world each and every day. Our intention with the iPhone has always been able to, been to create something so powerful, so immersive, and so magical that mm -hmm, the hardware. Mm -hmm. Anak gue sih nggak boleh nyentuh iPhone atau iPad sampai dia udah gede. Terjadi antisocial. 
the first iPhone forever changed how we interact with technology. Oh my god, are we going through the iPhone 1 until iPhone now? For the first time, you were actually touching the software instead of buttons. It was magical. Magical. The App Store changed the way we work, play, learn, communicate, spawning new companies and new industries along the way. We took the viewing experience to places literally never seen before with technologies like the retina display. We changed okay. the way people communicate with features like iMessage and FaceTime. And FaceTime. Yes, oh my god, he's really going through one by one. Aduh, oke okay deh. We used artificial intelligence to make our voices more powerful. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work in Indo that much. iPhone even revolutionized security and privacy. Yeah, oke okay, ini bagus. With Touch ID and our wallets with Apple Pay. Mm, we don't have Apple Pay in Indo. And of course, Sorry. <laughs> iPhone put amazing easy to use cameras into our hands, becoming the most popular okay, way. Oke, kamera oke, okay, bener. Kameranya bagus. Over the past decade, we pushed forward with innovation after innovation after innovation, bringing us to this moment. Ooh, now, this moment. We can create devices that are far more intelligent, far more capable, far more personal than ever before. iPhone. How we much? Have huge iPhone news for you today. Uh, And it gets huge. started right now. Oke. Okay. Let's enjoy this. Oke. Okay. This is maybe iPhone 7s. Yep, iPhone 7 and 7s. Uh, fingerprint, home button, home button. No, yes. They don't show the home button yet. Oh my god, come on. iPhone 8. Okay, so it's skip. iPhone 8. So it's iPhone 8. iPhone 8. This is a Tapi videonya enggak ada. Enggak. Oke, okay, kayaknya enggak ada home button. So iPhone 8 berarti nanti ada iPhone X. Kalau cuma iPhone 8 begini doang, nyebelin banget. Gua langsung tidur. I'm shutting this thing down. And the new iPhone Plus, 8 okay. Plus. These are a new generation of iPhone. And they improve on everything we love about iPhone. Hmm. The design is all new. It has glass in both the front and the back. The aluminum band beautifully matches the finish of each iPhone 8. So, the... Ini pasti nggak ada home button. Pasti nggak ada home button. Soalnya dia nggak flip gambarnya. Pasti nggak ada home button. Nggak, gue nggak mau kalau cuma kayak gini doang. No change. Yeah, 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 so it's still the same. Yeah, don't care. And the glass is further reinforced by an internal laser welded steel and Glass reinforced by Okay, fine. We're so excited because this glass is the most durable ever in a smartphone. Mm, yeah, I never have problem with it. Gua selalu jaga. iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is also microscopically sealed for water and dust resistance. Okay, fine. And they have a new Retina HD display in each model. There's a 4.7 So it's not OLED. In iPhone 8 and a 5.5 Oh my gosh. So they go so they still have the home button. Apple Retina displays are renowned for their incredible color uh, accuracy. Okay. So iPhone 8 is a downer. Mirip banget sama iPhone 7. Technology into the display and for the first time in an iPhone display it is our True Tone technology. Now with hmm. True Tone it adapts the color, temperature and intensity to the ambient light around That's us. That's what we have now. Yeah. Along with the displays iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have new stereo speakers That's what well. we have now. It's a downer though. Aduh, kecewa banget nih. Masih ada home button. <coughs> pretty incredible. Inside iPhone 8 and 8 Plus is a brand new chip and this is a breakthrough in performance in a mobile device. Okay. We call it A11 Bionic. Okay. Ya, yeah, iPhone 8-nya kurang gitu seru. Ya, yeah, most powerful until next year. 
64 bit design, 4.3 billion transistors, six core. We're going to geek out here for a bit because it is so awesome. It is too high. Yang akhirnya kita di Indo cuma pakainya buat buka pet, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> oh well, maybe sekarang pada main moba ya. Gua sih nggak main. They're managed by our second generation performance controller that now can use all six cores at once. It's up to seventy percent improvement in multi-threaded workloads. And they have our first ever Apple designed graphics processing unit or GPU. This is a three-core design. It's thirty percent faster than the graphics in the previous A10. I don't use it. The GPU is designed to accelerate 3D apps and games, especially those that use our new metal keyboard. I don't use it. I don't play games with my iPhone. Jadi nya nggak efek sih buat gua. The GPU also is incredible for machine learning apps and those kind of tasks get a big speed up if they use our our core machine learning framework too. There's more to it. The 11 Bionic includes our first a new generation image signal processor or ISP. So you know this is used in photography. It delivers faster autofocus in low light. It has new pixel processing for sharpness and texture. And for the first time, to help reduce noise, it has hardware-enabled multi-band noise reduction. Okay. All of this helps to improve performance and helps us take better pictures. Okay. Okay, camera. Let's see camera. Yeah. Is the cameras. Yes. People love taking photos, and customers send us their photos for our shot on iPhone campaign, like this one. This was sent from Jeremy Perez Cruz. He shot it with an iPhone 7 Plus, and people are going to love taking pictures with the iPhone. Okay. It is an all-new 12 megapixel sensor. It's larger, faster. It provides 83% more light. Yang gua kecewa masih ada tamperin. Kameranya nggak berubah, screennya nggak berubah. Better color saturation. A wider dynamic range of colors and lower noise in your photos and videos. Yeah, iPhone 8 Plus has two new sensors in its dual camera. Okay. 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 Okay.
That's cool. We have to see the review. It's super easy to use. Right when you're in the camera app, you use mm -hmm. portrait mode, and there's a new menu to select Studio. the lighting effect you want to use. You just swipe to pick a different effect for whatever you want to shoot. Now, these aren't filters. Mm. This is real-time analysis of the light on your subject's face. In fact, you can go in later, after you shot a portrait mode photo, into the Photos app and change the lighting effect to select which one you want to use on your photograph. Mm. Okay, that looks good. That looks cool. Lumayan lah, Ron. Come on. Not bad lah. For photography, okay lah. Not touched in any way. This is portrait mode using portrait lighting. It's actually using the setting in portrait lighting for stage Okay lah, Ron. Come on. Okay, we're going to do it for Android. For Pixel 2. We're going to do live streaming again. Okay, video. This is the important one. As the highest quality video okay. ever in a smartphone. Okay, we got a 4K already. So what are you gonna do? 8K? You're gonna bit bread? Along with the ISP, we have an Apple Design Video Encoder. <laughs> video encoder. This enables faster frame rates and higher quality video. Faster frame it has rate. Real time image and motion analysis to predict changes uh, in the content and okay. optimize the video encoding algorithms. So while you're shooting video, let's say 4K, 60 frames a second. The iPhone 8 divides each frame into individual tiles, two million of them. And we analyze the two million tiles every second, looking for details uh -huh. like texture and edges to predict whether that tile has grass, sky, water, or movement in it. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're shooting 4K 60 frame of video, mm -hmm. it can look like this. It's beautifully optimized for quality and for compression level. I mean, this video was shot on an iPhone in 4K. It's amazing. Okay, so, trust. And if you're one of the many people who love shooting slow-mo videos, that's gotten a lot better too. Now you can shoot a 1080p HD, 240 frames a second. Okay. That's double the frame rate of previous. All right. Absolutely. <clears throat> so now, iPhone 8 is incredible for shooting photos. It's incredible for video. There's a third category of use of the camera that's going to become increasingly important in our mobile devices. Mm -hmm. And that's augmented reality. Aha! So this, this is, an is the play. incredible area for us to advance in. And our teams okay. have worked together, hardware and software, to make iPhone 8 the first camera, the first iPhone really created for augmented reality and the first smartphone designed for it. Any well. good for interior designer, Each Pauline. iPhone for augmented and reality. The cameras yeah. are actually individually calibrated in the factory, and that makes a huge difference in the performance <clears> of the <throat> AR. Mm -hmm. There are new gyroscopes, new accelerometers. And AR kit software is tightly tuned to all this hardware to deliver the best experience for motion tracking. And AR greatly benefits from the new A11 Bionic chip. The CPU handles world tracking. The new okay. Apple GPU renders immersive graphics at up to 60 frames a second. Uh, AR ISP depends on developers. Real-time lighting estimation. And this stuff is amazing that it happens on a device in the palm of our hands. Right. So I want to show you some of the work that developers are starting to do with AR apps hmm. on iPhone 8. So here's one example. Games. It's a game, Warhammer 40K Freeblade from Pixel Toys. You can hmm. now use their photo mode to bring the Freeblade Knight into the real world and play it right where your friends are standing around you. Actually, here's another. Gila, ini baterainya akan lebih cepat habis dong if we use this. So that when you're at the game, you can hold up your iPhone and see real-time player information and stats on top of the game you're watching. Ah, this is good. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. The Indo mungkin nggak gitu efek. Star Labs. You can use AR Kit with this app to actually superimpose the map on top of the sky as you're looking at it around you. Okay, this, this is some cool. Generic sky. This is the sky around you. Kalau lagi ngejar cewek, ngelihat bintang, ya, yeah, this is useful. We cannot see stars in Jakarta. Now we want to show you <laughs> an exciting AR app right here live on stage playing on an iPhone 8. It's from Directive Games. This is a new startup based in Shanghai. It's founded by developers. They keep showing Chinese people the biggest franchises in this presentation. So please welcome Atli Mar, CEO and co-founder of Directive Games. Atli? Thank you. A white guy, uh, Ang Mo, di Shanghai. Okay, Earlier they... this summer, with the introduction of AR Kit, Apple I think changed gaming forever. It doesn't look what Chinese. What we're about to show you <laughs> is one of the world's first competitive multiplayer games designed to be played 
entirely in augmented reality. This hmm. is the machines. In the okay. game, players battle their friends the... in real time, either online Keren. or around the table in the same room. My friend table and co-founder Andrea the same is preparing room. a match for us, where we play the rebels. But how do you do? Multiplayer. Against the dominators. Ini kalau in real life What's akan kelihatan really cool lucu sih. Is with AR kit and Metal 2 on the new iPhone, we are able to experience games in an entirely new way. Mm -hmm. Since players are able to view the game from any angle, <laughs> they both botak semua. With the power of the new iPhone and Unreal support for Metal 2, we are able to render the entire level on screen. An amazing 1.2 million polygons, while also okay. allowing you to move in close to really appreciate the high visual fidelity. <clears throat> and just look at those 4K textures; it's gorgeous. So, now, how do you play the game? Are we go into the game. Okay. <laughs> AR allows us to use our position in the real world to gain a tactical advantage. Just look how Andrea is moving towards this cave, lining up his targets. Okay. This is something that would have been hard to do with Pinch and Zoom. It's like you're not just controlling the game, you're in the game. Great. Okay, Another this is awesome addition too. to the experience is spatial audio. If you go close to the action, the sound increases. Okay, and if a solid object... Cool. Gets between you and the action. Keren. The Cuma kalau dipencet-pencet goyang-goyang oh, dong gambar. This is truly amazing. It looks like we're getting hit pretty hard. Yes. Deploy a shield. Protect our heroes. Now let's rain fire on our enemies. Move closer to their base. And get ready for the fatal blow with our Shugu weapon. Oh, the how do you there. do multiplayer? Take it out at the same time? Multiplayer-nya orangnya harus... Satu ruangan dong. Hmm. What you just saw is an amazing evolution in how games Tapi are played. Tapi kayaknya pegel ya megangin gitu. Wah. We can't wait for you to play. Ini kalau orang main game ini chiropractor laku nih. Itu tadi posisi begini berarti nggak bisa main gamenya lama. Itu aja sih kayaknya. No, I don't see it for games. I think it'll be what. Thank you, Atlee. Now, interior. Wireless. Napa wireless. We once said that the future is wireless. And boy, okay. were we right. And that's becoming more true than ever before oh. with iPhone 8. It supports LTE Advanced for fast networking connections. Oh my God! They're gonna put headphone with the accessories. Of course, it supports our great beloved AirPods and the Beats X headphones that use our W1 chip. That is an ugly headphone, Apple. And now with iPhone 8 with its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. Charging. Well, biasa aja sih soalnya at the end, you know what? I mean, this is a simple thing. Kita kan di Indo biasa pakai kabel kan, jadi bisa lagi di charge bisa pakai. Kalau wireless charging nggak bisa sambil dipakai iPhonenya. Words can't describe just how much nicer it is to just put it down and pick it up whenever you want to charge without ever having to plug in a cable again. You're gonna want to do this by your bedside. You're gonna want to do this in a cafe or restaurant as they start to support wireless charging. Iya, tapi selama ditaruh nggak so bisa dipakai, nggak seproblem. I don't get it. Berapa orang tergila-gila wireless charging? Applicablenya cuma kalau tidur. Ya oke, okay, sama waktu di kafe kali. Tapi juga di kafe nggak bisa. Orang tuh pasti mainin. Nggak sih. Qi is the leading openness wireless charging standard. And we hope to help Qi by increasing adoption of it and creating new use cases for it. Many restaurants, shops, okay. airports, cars have started to build in support for Qi wireless charging mm -hmm. in the work with iPhone 8. Many companies are offering Qi chargers, and those that are Qi certified should all work with Qi. iPhone 8. Qi. And we've worked with some 
developers who are creating cheat chargers, and we're going to offer them in our stores and online for our iPhone 8 customers, like this one from Mophie and this one from Balkan. Yes, I just see. <coughs> what was so that's iPhone I will not it's use a new it. generation of like iPhone. It improves on everything me, we love least. about iPhone. It is packed with innovative technologies from the glass and aluminum design to the Retina HD display, yeah, the new A11 okay. Bionic chip. Come on, bring out the iPhone X. For AR apps like no iPhone Pro, before. whatever you call it. They have new single and dual cameras. Ah, harganya ini belum ngomong. Photo light How much for all this? And wireless charging. Tapi aturan ini dia nggak naikin sih. Now iPhone 7 came in these starting at 32 gigabytes. We're really happy to tell you iPhone 8 is going to start with twice the capacity at 64 gigabytes and have a second one at 256 gigabytes. And the price? will be $699. iPhone 8 Plus will have the same two configurations, 64 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes, and it will be priced starting at $799. $800, okay, berarti nggak bisa, sama aja lah. Ah, ini a bit of a disappointment, guys. And we can all upgrade to iOS 11 starting at September 19th. September so that 19th. Is iPhone 8. Coming soon. Here we go. Yeah. iPhone X. iPhone 10. iPhone 8. A new generation of iPhone. And a huge step forward. But we're not stopping there. Yay. We do. Yeah. One more thing. Yay! Now, iPhone X, come on, or oh, iPhone 10, or oh, whatever you call it. Words, and we don't use them lightly. Our teams have been hard at work for years. Years. Something that is important to all of us. The future of the smartphone. Ew. The first iPhone revolutionized a decade of technology and change the world in the process. Now, 10 years later, it is only fitting that we are here to do the same in this place on this day to reveal a product that will set the path for technology for the next decade. Ooh. Here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is it. This is it. Okay. <laughs> okay. They got the back right. Nice and shiny. And then. Yeah! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah! <laughs> they got it right. The leakers got it right. This is iPhone 10. Oh, it iPhone. is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil back up. Phil? Thank you, Tim. I think you can imagine there are a lot of people at Apple that didn't get much sleep last night preparing for this. Is this, this is so exciting. I mean, it is all screen. It is beautiful to look at. It is incredible to hold. Edge to edge, <sighs> okay, I'm getting this one. Bottom. I don't care. It goes into each I don't care. I'm getting this one. Curve of the design. It has glass on both the front and the back, using the same super strong formula as iPhone 8. The band is made from a surgical grade stainless steel that's both durable and polishes to a beautiful finish. And look how the glass and the stainless steel fit, form a continuous surface from front to back. There has never been any. Even if I have to fly somewhere to get it, I'll get it. It's engineered to be water and dust resistant at a microscopic level. It comes in two beautiful finishes, space gray and silver. I'll get Each this space gray. Each has incredible depth gray. and a pearlescence to the color in the glass. 
iPhone 10. I'm getting this display. one. Retina Called display. The Super Retina display. The fuck? Super Retina display. What is that? The level of quality and responsiveness and efficiency is really quite a breakthrough in mobile displays. They don't want to say OLED. To start with, the Super Retina display is 5.8 inches on the diagonal. Fine. It's got 2436 by 1125 resolution. That's over 2.7 million pixels but not 4k it's 458 pixels per inch now this is the highest resolution in pixel density ever in an iphone mm -hmm. I mean, it's remarkable how this larger display can be packed into a phone that fits so comfortably in our hands okay fine the super retina display uses oled technology okay so this it's oled just OLED call it oled great enough to be in an iphone traditional <laughs> oled displays have had great benefits like high contrast and resolution, and no backlight means you can make them thinner. But they came with trade-offs in brightness, trade -off. and colors, and color accuracy, mm. at least compared to our retina displays. But this the is super. Retina super. Display overcomes all of these deficiencies mm. and lives up to all that we expect from an iPhone display. In addition, the new super retina display supports HDR in both the Dolby Vision and HDR10. Yes, I need all this crap. I need all this. I don't care. I'm getting it. It has the best color accuracy. It integrates our unique 3D touch technology right into the display. And like iPhone 8, it includes True Tone. I don't care about True Tone. All this innovative Super Retina display technology is great. <coughs> it's the point of it that matters. And the point of it is to enable an entirely new experience that's more fluid, more intuitive. So let's okay. start with the simplest thing. How do you wake up your iPhone 10? Well, certainly you can raise to wake just like before, but now you can also just tap on the screen. Uh huh. It wakes up. Yeah, you. Every time you. Oh, the display um, goes edge to edge and top right to bot right. bot bottom. There's no more home button. Mm -hmm. This is an important part and a big step forward in the iPhone user experience. Uh -huh. Something we use hundreds of times a day for so many tasks is an opportunity to rethink how iPhone should work and how we can make it better. So now, when you want to go to the home screen, you simply swipe up from the bottom and you go home. It's that simple. It's okay, that the, easy. the it's software better simple. not crash. Once you do it for the first time, you'll know there's never been a better way. And it works the same way across the system. If you're running an app, like mail, and you want to go home, what do you do? You simply swipe up from the bottom, and you go home. It's mm. that easy and that intuitive and so much nicer. Mm -hmm. Now, the same fluid gesture also works. Kalau main game, gimana ya? So if you're in an app and you want to multitask, you just swipe up from the bottom, you pause for a split second, and you're in multitasking. And then you can tap on any app and jump right to it. Yay. We also use the home button. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Do I don't that? care. Well, of course, you can just speak to your phone as before and say, hey, Siri. No, I didn't set anyone's phones off. Or you can now press the side button in, which has been made larger. And once you press it in, you can just talk to Siri. OK, that's smart. I know what you're bit. thinking about. Well, what about unlocking? How do you unlock your phone with iPhone 10? I mean, this has been a very important part of the iPhone user experience from the very beginning. The first iPhone, we led the way with multi-touch, and we created slide to unlock. And this protected the iPhone from turning on when you didn't want it to, like in your pocket. Starting with iPhone 5S, we invented Touch ID. We made it fast and easy to protect all your data and unlock your phone with just your fingerprint. And Touch now, ID became the gold standard face. in consumer device biometric protection. Cuma gimana kalau but pakai gambar? something that's better. With right iPhone there. 10, your iPhone is locked until you look at it and it recognizes you. Nothing has ever been simpler, more natural, and effortless. <coughs> call this hmm. Face ID. Okay. So Face ID is the future of how we will unlock our smartphones and protect our sensitive information. To Terus make kalau Face ID possible, it's the most gimana? advanced technology we have ever created. And much of it is packed right up here into this tiny little area at the top of the display. We call this the True Depth Camera System. Mm -hmm. 
and it is made up of incredible state-of-the-art technology. There's an infrared camera, a flood illuminator, the front side camera, and a dot projector. And that's not all. There's also the proximity sensor, the ambient light sensor, the speaker and microphone, all packed into this true depth camera system area. It is amazing. And here's how it works. Every time you glance at your iPhone 10, it detects your face with the flood illuminator, even in the dark. Okay. The IR camera takes an IR image. The dot projector projects out over 30,000 invisible IR dots. We use the IR image and the dot pattern, and we push them through neural networks to create a mathematical model of your face. And then we check that mathematical model against the one that we've stored that you set up earlier to see if it's a match. So, nggak bisa dihack pakai gambar. Oke, okay, fine. Happens invisible. You don't see these things going off. Mm, problem with twins, though. <laughs> the great face ID. We worked with thousands of people around the world, and the team took over a billion images. And with that, they developed multiple neural networks to create face ID. And to process the machine learning in face ID's neural networks, we built Apple's first ever neural engine. Yeah, this is a big deal. In our pockets, in our phones, is an A11 bionic chip with a built-in neural engine to process face recognition. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Now, the neural engine is specialized hardware built for a specific set of machine learning algorithms. This is another example of the incredible collaboration between the hardware and software teams that's only possible at Apple. The neural engine is a state-of-the-art, ultra-fast What's processing system. What's happen the with the It's a dual -core battery design. life? It can perform over 600 billion operations. But actually, I don't care. Second, Pokoknya, I'm getting this. To the real-time processing of Face ID. I'm getting this internet. But for all of us, it's just super easy and fun to use. When you set up Face ID, you just follow the on-screen instructions, and it tells you how to move your head around in the camera so Face ID can recognize your face. And that's it. You do that once when you set it up. And Face ID learns your face. Even if you change your hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, that's important. You decide to put on glasses. You're wearing a hat. So you do it up any way you do it. Face ID learns your face. It learns who you are. And it adapts to you. It'll be a problem your changes over time. if you're riding a bike. It works in or lagi skiing, ada masalah sih. <laughs> And the teams work hard to make sure the face ID can easily be spoofed by things like photographs. They've even gone and worked with professional mask makers and makeup artists in Hollywood to protect against these attempts to beat face ID. These are actual masks used by the engineering team to train the neural networks to protect against them in face ID. It's incredible. The team's worked hard to protect your face data. Yes. <clears throat> your face data is protected with the secure enclave and the A11 Bionic chip. All the processing is done on iPhone 10 and not sent to a server. We require user attention to unlock. That means if your eyes are closed, you're looking away, it's not going to unlock. Hmm. Now, how do we compare that to Touch ID? How secure is it? Well, there's no perfect system, not even biometric ones. But as we said earlier, Touch ID is the gold standard for consumer device biometric protection. And the data for Touch ID has been 1 in 50,000, meaning that the chance that a random person could use their fingerprint to unlock your mm. iPhone has been about 1 in 50,000. And it's been great. So what are the similar statistics for Face ID? 1 in a million. Hmm. How about twins? You didn't say anything about the twins. The chance that a random person in the population could look at your iPhone 10 and unlock it with their face is about one in a million. Now, of course, the statistics are lower if that person shares a close genetic relationship with you. So, for example, if you happen to have an evil twin, okay. <laughs> you really need to protect your passcode with your sensitive data with a passcode. So, Hopefully you don't. You just answer my question. Face ID also <laughs> works with Apple Pay. Okay. So to pay for things, you just double tap the button on the side, you look at iPhone 10 to authenticate, and hold it near the payment terminal to pay. 
It's that easy. Fast, intuitive, simple. Kapan ya SID Apple Pay ada di Indo? Their party apps already support Touch ID and they'll work with Face ID. So apps like Mint, One Password, E-Trade will all work with Face ID. Okay. So Face ID, it's Face uh, Face authentication for unlocking <coughs> your iPhone and protecting your sensitive data. It uses the innovative TrueDepth camera system. It's trained with neural networks. It's easy to set up. It learns your face and it adapts to your face over time. It's aware of your attention. It works with Apple Pay. Hmm. It works with third-party apps. Okay. This TrueDef camera system is incredible technology, and it's going to enable so many great new user experiences. The okay. first one, of course, is Face ID. But the team decided to create another great experience with it as well. This is a fun one. It has to do with Emojis. Okay. And we use emojis to communicate with others and to express emotion. But of course, you can't customize emojis. They only have a limited amount of expressiveness to them. So our team created something called an emoji. These are <laughs> animated emojis. Yay! These are emojis that you control with your face. An emojis track more than 50 facial muscle movements. <laughs> They've been meticulously animated to create amazing expressiveness. Yeah, this is cute. You can just watch this, can't you? <laughs> the way you create and share an emoji are right from within Apple Messages. Oh, they force you to do Apple Messages. You said a little late. Where are you? You can pick from a dozen different animated emojis to share and express Whatever you want to express to your family and friends. Yeah, okay, this is cool. Ini kayaknya keren. Cuma berarti yang pakai Android nggak bisa. With innovative technologies that enable new user experiences. I'm really excited to invite out yeah. Craig Federici to show you iPhone 10 and what it's like to use it for the very first time. Craig. Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> Wow, well, I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to give all of you your first live look at iPhone X. Uh, this is a phone we've been dreaming about for a long time, but the reality of it in your hand, it's, uh, it's really something epic. So let's take a look. Here is iPhone X. Now, unlocking it is as easy as looking at it and swiping up, and you know, Let's try that again. Uh oh. Ho ho ho. Let's uh, go to back up here and get right in. So here we are, and you see this expansive. Oops, there display. was a. Uh... It's just a beautiful canvas for all of your content and your gestures. And I'm just going to go into the weather app here, and you can just see how apps look when they take advantage of the edge to edge display. Now, exiting an app couldn't be easier. You just swipe from the bottom, just like this, and throw the app right back on the home screen. Let me do that again. Just swipe right up. Let's take a look at the web. It just looks unbelievable, edge to edge, on this display. Hmm, there's Your something wrong with this presentation. Just gorgeous as well. <clears throat> Let's jump into this one. Just amazing. Yep, getting it. Getting it. Now, video oh, those of black bars is on. unbelievable on the Super Retina display. It looks great in portrait and in landscape. And of course, this is HDR video. Just incredible looking. Now, Phil told you a little bit about multitasking on the device. Let me show you. I'm just going to jump into Maps. And if I want to move between my applications, I can just swipe up and stop. And my other apps all come in, I can get at them with a tap. Just lift, it's just that easy. And we have a great shortcut as well. You hmm. can actually move back between apps just by swiping along the bottom like this. That's cool. It's really easy. Now, you That's may be wondering cool. about Control Center and worry not. Right where your status indicators are in the upper right hand corner, you can just swipe down and get at Control Center right hand. anywhere. It's that easy. Okay, that's Let's take a new look one. again at Face ID, because unlocking your phone is just amazingly intuitive. You just raise it, look at it, and swipe right up to get started. Swipe. 
Sweat. Okay. But now it's also incredibly fast. So I'm just going to do that again. I just raise it, look at it, swipe. I don't have to wait. And it's also really, really smart. So let's say I wake my phone and I'm not looking at it. It stays locked. But once I give it my, once I give it my attention, well, it unlocks and I can get right in. It's really cool. Now, Face ID is also great for Apple Pay. So if I'm at the register, I can just double click on the side button, I'm authenticated, and I can get in just like that. Now, the true okay. depth camera behind Face ID isn't just about authentication. In fact, we've extended AR Kit with some incredible new face tracking capabilities that provide a whole mm. new class of augmented reality experiences. Now, we've been working on one with Snapchat, and I'd like to show it to you now. So I'm gonna launch in. You see it builds a mesh in my face, and now I can just select a mask. The tracking is just unreal. Let's check out this one. Now look at the detail over the eyes, the incredible metallic reflections, the quality of the tracking, it's, it's just stunning. All right. That's cute. Now, of course, many of us like to communicate with emoji. And with an emoji, we can now breathe our own personality into our favorites. It's available as an app right inside of Messages. So I can just go right in here, and it immediately starts tracking me. So I can make whatever expression I want, like, and just pick that up and use it as a sticker, drop it on my message like that. We also let you manipulate it's these gonna be messy, see. You can audition your favorites, and there's some they really, really want to push like Apple Cat, messages. So expressive and ferocious. It's a happy puppy. Check out the physics in the ears. The pig. <laughs> We've got a chicken. And the unicorn, mythical creature, favorite of the startup. And yes. If you were by chance wondering what humanity would do when given access to the most advanced facial tracking technology available, you now have your answer. <laughs> now, these can be so much fun, you're going to want to share them. And fortunately, we let you record messages. I'm going to record a message here for Tim. This is cool. Hey, uh, Tim, I'm not sure what the protocol is here, but I'd like to call dibs on the fox for my favorite emoji. Uh, which one do you like? Hey, uh, Tim, I'm not sure what the protocol is here, but I'd like to call dibs on the fox for my favorite emoji. Uh, which one do you like? Now, you can send it with just, just a tap, and it appears as a looping video right inside the transcript. If we're really lucky for our grand finale, we might just get a response back from Tim. <laughs> oh, here it is. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig. I am your leader. Let's wrap this thing up. <laughs> Wait, they don't talk about the camera. So that is your first look. That's a bit passive aggressive, a little bit. Experience with the True Depth camera and an emoji. I think you're going to love it. Thank you very much. What? That's it? Look, the camera. The camera. So thank you, Craig. We need the camera. Now let's talk about the amazing cameras in iPhone 10. It's like I read the script. iPhone 10 has dual. 12 megapixel sensors, okay. dual cameras, both a faster sensors, so wider same. sensors, okay. just like an iPhone 8. There's new color filters, mm -hmm. deeper pixels. There's an f1.8 aperture on the wide angle camera and a faster f2.4 aperture on the telephoto. So that lets in 36% more light to the telephoto camera. Oh my God, it's 2 a.m. The big news on the camera in the iPhone 10 is that it has dual optical image stabilization. That means there's OIS <clears> on both the wide angle and the telephoto lens. That's a lot of magnets moving around in a very small space, but it helps with compensating for handshake and to take better photos and videos in low light. Mm -hmm. There's also a better quad LED two-tone flash that is twice okay. the uniformity of light on our subjects. So let's look at some photos taken from the backside camera on iPhone 10. This is absolutely beautiful. 
great dynamic range, detail, low noise. This is a beautiful photo. The textures are simply stunning. Now there's zero shutter lag, and it helps I to think they ran out of vocab like to this. define the photo. Look at that blue sky with low Kayaknya noise. Kayaknya kata-kata yang dipakai sama, terus vocabnya udah habis. The OIS delivers low light performance, so now you can get incredible low light images like this with the telephoto is that all? camera as well as the wide angle. And iPhone 10 is fantastic for the portrait mode feature that we all love. With iPhone 10 you can get great hmm. portrait modes, especially in lower light. And iPhone 10 supports the brand new portrait lighting feature as well. Mm, of course. So again, a photo taken right off of iPhone 10, not retouched in any way, with a stage lighting effect, dropping out the background. <laughs> iPhone 10 is great for photos. It's amazing for 4K video. Mm -hmm. And like iPhone 8, it's tuned for AR applications. It has factory calibrated cameras, the new gyroscope, accelerometer, the performance advantages of the A11, bionic chips, CPU, GPU, and ISP, and AR kit is tuned for iPhone 10. Now the backside camera that we use so much is not the only camera, of course, on the iPhone. We have our front side camera as well, and people love to use those for taking selfie photographs. And now with iPhone 10 and its true depth camera, it really delivers a breakthrough in the photos you can take for selfies. Mm -hmm. Because now with selfies, you can take portrait mode photos as well. Okay. And it also supports portrait lighting all through the front side true depth camera. Cool. I mean, people are going to be blown away with the selfies you can take with the iPhone 10. This is absolutely beautiful. Of course, everything we see is powered in iPhone 10 by the amazing new A11 Bionic chip. We talked all about an iPhone 8, but it's worth hitting on the highlights again because there has never been anything like it. A 64-bit, six-core design, 4.3 billion transistors, two high-performance cores, four yep, high we don't care cores, about all that. a new second-generation performance controller that uses oh, all six cores at oh once. Yeah. Our first okay, Apple I'm getting off soon after unit, the iPhone. The brand new ISP that improves autofocus, the video encoder that does real-time motion analysis while you're shooting video, the neural engine, and of course, the secure enclave to protect our face ID data. All this performance, I'm sure as you expect, does come with a hit to battery life. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to tell you that we've increased it. Yes, it lasts. Yes. How? Again, hardware and software teams work really hard to deliver two more hours of all day battery life to us. So, Wireless, just like iPhone 8, iPhone 10 is also built for a wireless world. It has Qi charging through the glass back, and it will work with the Qi charging devices, like the ones that we mentioned earlier from Mophie and Belkin. It also work with third-party Qi devices that are Qi certified. And there are a lot of great devices that are going to start to come to market, particularly because of iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. But we also think we can make the wireless charging experience even better. If our team wants to create something, I think all of us we're going to want to use, and it might actually help move the entire industry forward. So we're going to give you a sneak peek of this idea right now. What? I'm sure many of you do this. I do this. I have a lot of Apple products. I love them. I use them all day long. I charge them at night. You plug in your cables. You plug in your chargers. You take those cables and chargers with you on the road when you travel. Mm -hmm. We think we have an idea of how to make this a better experience. And here it is. It's a mat that you place your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 down, and it just starts to charge. Okay. And it's a beautiful new interface. Then? It doesn't stop there. You can place your Series 3 Apple Watch down on it, and it starts to charge as well. Okay. And you can place your AirPods with the optional new wireless charging case on it, and it starts to charge as well. They all charge. <laughs> okay, there. This system has a great interface. They intelligently work together and communicate with each other to manage the charging through one more efficient charging system. This is not possible with current standards, but our team knows how to do this. We call it air power. <laughs> air power. What? Who made this? We names? hope people love it, that it encourages others to create 
more advanced solutions based on technology like this. We're going to be working with the Qi standards team to incorporate these benefits into the future of the standards to make wireless charging better for everyone. So look for the air power charger next year. Next year. So that is iPhone 10. It is the future of the smartphone. It is packed with many innovative features, <laughs> huge list, we won't go through them all, and they add up to a new, better experience. Okay. We're so excited about iPhone 10, we created a beautiful video to tell you all about it. <coughs> no mention of Johnny Ive. Kok ada Johnny Ive? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like that is all display. Pas pasan banget. The physical object that disappears into the experience. This is iPhone 10. Developing the form and display together defines a whole new integration, making the boundary between the device and the screen hard to discern. The custom OLED panel was engineered to fold and seamlessly combine with the external surfaces. Mechanical buttons give way to touch and gestures. There's no home button. A single swipe takes you to the home screen. A more responsive touch system means the gestures in iOS... I still don't get how with the swipe kalau di games ya. The polished stainless steel band reinforces the water-resistant all-glass design. This new glass formulation, the most durable ever in a smartphone, enables for the first time wireless charging. Oh, is it using Our a new true depth USB camera C system or? contained within this tiny space? uses <coughs> extraordinary depth sensing technology to let you unlock your phone with a glance. We call this Face ID. It maps the unique geometry of your face with over 30,000 invisible dots. This data is analyzed by the neural engine on the A11 Bionic chip, the first of its kind. Your iPhone now recognizes you, even in the dark, and will adapt to your physical changes. This makes your face your secure password. So with just a look, you can authenticate your phone or use Apple Pay. The True Depth camera also enables new experiences. Okay, keren, keren. Like bringing emojis to life by mapping more than 50 facial muscles in real time. So you can be happy or sad or cross. Both the front and rear facing cameras now have portrait mode and for the first time you can actually define the light in a scene. Based on fundamental photographic principles, portrait lighting produces the effect of real studio lighting. On the back, the dual camera system is completely redesigned. It's made even smarter by the A11 Bionic chip. With machine learning, the camera detects elements in the scene to optimize the image before the photo is even taken. Ha. <coughs> the camera we use every day hmm. now delivers so much more. And as iOS becomes the world's largest platform for augmented reality, it will redefine what's possible. This is iPhone 10. All right. Mm -hmm. The team works hard to make iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 in the most environmentally friendly manner possible. They have arsenic-free display glass, mercury-free displays. They're BFR-free, PVC-free, beryllium-free. They're now made with a low-carbon process for their aluminum design. Hmm. And they're highly recyclable with their materials. Okay, guys. Ini udah the jam so like almost jam 2 pagi. I think I better sleep now. iPhone 10 also comes in two configurations. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to know the price. Gigabytes. Be price harga, harga, harga. Ah. order it starting on October 27th. What? They begin to ship on November 3rd. So this is the October, future of smartphone November. shipping this year.
Ya so masih lama banget. Every year we say it's a great lineup for the holidays and it is. But this year is really special. It starts with iPhone uh, SE, November. iPhone 6S, iPhone 7, the new generation Wah. iPhone 8. Okay. Futuristic so we still have time 10. to nabung. Bad for Apple though. Itu 8 and X. Ten years ago, Kalau secara sales bisa ribet. Oh, it's not finished. It said, I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. Steve said that's what Apple does. We Singapore enggak. The puck is going to Singapore. Be. Maksudnya apa, Ron? Singapore enggak. Singapore. Back to you, Tim. Oh. Oh, iPhone 10. This really is the future. We've made a great, fun new ad that I'd love to show it to you. Hmm. Every time you call on me, I drop what I do. You are my best friend, and we've got some things to do. Good ad. Are they gonna talk about iOS 11 or something? That is iPhone 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what a morning we've had. Apple Watch. Okay, Series what else? With cellular, which gives you After the this you want, next announcement, with, kita lihat dulu apaan. Kalau about Mac Pro, then we Apple continue. Apple TV 4K brings the magic of the cinema straight to your living room with incredible 4K and HDR content. Let's have a schedule to move, actually. A beautiful glass design, incredible cameras, wireless charging, A11 bionic chip, and of course, Powerful AR capabilities. We think you're going to love it. An iPhone 10, the most advanced iPhone we've ever made. The incredible new design, Face ID, true depth camera system, and more powerful technologies than we've ever put in an iPhone before. It really is the future of the smartphone. Okay, what's next? And we begin this morning with some inspiring words from Steve. <clears throat> One of the ways that I believe people express their appreciation to the rest of humanity is to make something wonderful and put it out there. We work really mm. hard at Apple to create wonderful things. And we hope you love what we've introduced today. Oh, that's it? I think Steve would be really proud of them. No MacBook Pro? No Mac Pro? I'd like to thank everyone at Apple who made today possible. Uh, I'd like everybody in Apple to stand up that are here representing their teams from hardware and software and services. Please stand up. And oh, this is the first. Our amazing retail employees. And everyone that works so hard on this theater and on Apple Park. One of the great things about this theater is an unbelievable hands-on area. Uh, it is the most beautiful hands-on area we've ever had, by far. And I would encourage all of you to join us there and get your hands on these wonderful products. Thank you so much for spending the morning with us. Thank you. Oh, it's done. Okay. That's it. That's it, everybody. Thank you for joining.
uh, hopefully next kita bisa join lagi di live stream maybe for uh, pixel 2 anyway good night see you guys bye